Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got another reaction video for you. Um, I'm glad you guys are enjoying these because it is quite torturous for me to watch some of these videos. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Brie Mesquit and I have been a waxer for 12 years. Now I have my own waxing line. If you haven't yet tried Rebel and you're interested in trying it, you can claim two free sample bags with the link below and the code TRYREBEL. All right, let's get into this video that was sent to me. Looks like we're we're doing a nose wax. Wax goes in. Okay, I already have to stop. So, the powder, like, not the biggest deal, but also not necessary. We don't really need to prep with powder. I honestly don't prep with anything with the nose wax unless they have facial hair. Sometimes I will dab a little pre-wax oil just to add some protection in case that wax, you can see it's already dripping. Um, the reason it's dripping like that is because this wax is way, way, way too warm. If it is runny like that, you want your wax to be more the consistency of like, think of molasses. So I teach what's called the three second rule. If you haven't heard of that, go watch back one of my training videos or better yet, check out my free six week course. Um, but that's my first observation. This wax is way too warm and I'm not quite sure what she's planning on doing with that stick. Personally, I use the stick to be able to remove the wax as well. So let's keep watching. Oops. Put wax on the back of the glove. Oh. Peel and squish. Stick firmly to the wax in the nose. Okay. This is like not super necessary, but also like, okay, fine. Like, I don't know if you didn't have sticks available or something, this is, she's getting a little creative here. But my issue is, is now both those waxes are very different consistencies. So the wax that's been in his nose now will have to set way too long by the time the like makeshift wax stick that she made is ready to actually pull. Cause you can see how it's still moldable right now and she's able to kind of form it. Um, it's not gonna be ready to pull. If she goes to pull that, it's just gonna be gummy and stringy. So she's gonna have to wait a really long time, but then the wax that's been in his nose has set way too long and you run into um, the potential for ripping or tearing your mucous membrane. So when we are waxing a nose, we're not wanting to go too high, which she didn't, but you also, it's really, really, really important that you're removing that stick or, well, she's not using a stick, but you're removing that wax that's in the, the inner rim right here at the proper timing so that it's not having enough time to like connect to that whole mucous membrane, if that's making sense. So it's really important that you remove it when it's still moldable, kind of like the wax that she's molding into a stick right now. That's actually the consistency when it's ready to, to be removed. So let's see. Cool. Voila. I mean, it kind of worked. I have to give it to her. It wasn't, it wasn't the worst. It wasn't the worst. So, um, I think she got away with this one. It, very interesting technique to me, but I would just say be very cautious when it comes to that heat because that can do a lot of damage. And just side note, she didn't do this, but please don't be going up into the nasal cavity. Nose hairs are actually there as a filter, their filtration system. So you will notice if you ever accidentally go a little too high on a client, or especially if it's a friend or family or someone you're spending a lot of time with, they may start complaining to you like, I'm sneezing more often. It's just like, they get more irritated, if, especially someone who tends to already have allergies. So it's really just for cosmetic purposes when we're doing a nose wax. We wanna get those little hairs that peek out and are just on that inner rim there. Um, so overall, I think this, it went okay. It could have been a lot worse. Interesting technique, but she got it done. All right, that's it for today. If you guys are enjoying these videos, keep sending me some. You can send them to me on Instagram, TikTok, um, YouTube. All my handles are listed below. Send me any videos that you'd like me to react on or just get my feedback on. And please make sure to subscribe. 99% of you who are here consuming my content are not subscribed. And I have found myself to be guilty of this as well. So go ahead, subscribe, make sure you don't miss any future videos. All right, have a good one. And I will see you back next week.